This is Nicole. Um, welcome to my channel. And if you've been here before, I do appreciate you coming back. If you're new and you tuned in to watch, I appreciate that you did so. And um, I welcome you. And if you find that you enjoy the content of this video, I would love for you to become a new subscriber. Um, just hit that subscribe button. Uh, that like button and also get that notification bell a click and you will be notified when I post my next video So um, stay tuned as well at the end of the video for close-ups and photos So today's pour is actually it is a collaboration um, Rose from Rose M creations. That's her YouTube channel name had um, made a post on, on a Facebook group and was asking anybody if they would like to do um, a collaboration like all of our fun favorite artists out there on YouTube have been doing. So she thought it would be fun for some of us newer YouTubers um, or newer artists to uh, do a collaboration ourselves. So this is my first collaboration. So I'm very excited about it. And what will happen is um, we will end up all each posting our video links in each other's descriptions. And for those that don't have a YouTube channel, there will be links to their social media pages for you to go check out their piece as part of this collaboration. So if you go to the description box, I'm sorry, my description box below, you'll find links to all of the other gals that are part of um, this collaboration and go check them out watch their videos or go check out their posts on their social media with pictures of their piece um, that would be wonderful so the collaboration is a flip and drag technique on a 12 by 16 and the colors that we were to use were lime green any shade of blue and any shade of magenta we could also add silver black, white, and or gold. So the colors I have chosen today are, I'll show you, and I, okay, I'm going to do my base is going to be silver. And this is a creative inspiration silver. Um, the base I am doing a little thinner just so my paint will flow across the top as I'm tilting it. So decided to try silver. I'm not sure how that's gonna turn out, but um, I'm hoping for some negative s space, so that's why I'm, I'm gonna be putting down a base uh, coat on the canvas. Um, and in no particular order, because of course I haven't decided the order that I want to put in these cups. Um, so I'll just show you. The blue I have chosen is Pebio Studio Acrylics. They're blue-black, which is the iridescent, and you'll see um, it's it's thick and you can see it kind of leaves, I don't know how well you can see that, I'm trying here. It leaves a mound. So um, I have checked the consistencies, they're all pretty similar. The lime green I am doing is a pearl lime green and this is from Arteza. I've actually never used an Arteza paint before so this is my first Arteza. So I'm pretty excited. This color is really pretty. I don't know if you can see it. Um, same consistency, leaves a mound. Okay. The magenta I have chosen is quinacridone magenta. And this is a Liquitex color. Very pretty. So those are the three required colors. I'm also going to be adding in the cups um, some black in between some of the layers um, and may put in some titanium white as well. So what I've done, I've got three small cups here. I'm not quite sure 
if I was going to use all three, but I think I am. I want to make sure I have enough paint. Uh, what I did, um, I've seen Molly do this of Molly's Artistry, is I've poked a hole in the bottom. So when I flip it, I can take this off and it'll help relieve um, some pressure in the cup. So it'll help the cup drag around. So hopefully that's covered well enough. So let me see, is there anything else I wanted to say? I don't think so. Um, so anyways, I hope you enjoy this. Go check out all the other ladies um, in our collaboration in the description box. Like I said, all the links will be there. Click their links, go watch their videos. Let us all know what you think about this. Um, I'm hoping this is something that we'll keep doing because this is kind of fun. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the cups ready and then I'll put the base down just so I can have the cups here so you can kind of see what I'm doing. All right. Okay, so here we go. I don't know if I should do each one the same. Yeah, let's do each one the same. Start with some black at the bottom. just to do a thin thin layer of it. I'll just kind of pour it in the middle and then blow it out here. Just running my fingers across the edges here and that is just to get all the sides covered so don't leave any bare canvas showing all right so i'm going to pop the air bubbles because i did just mix this also which isn't ideal but what can you do? What can you do? Okay. So I think I'm just gonna like flip them all in the middle and just kind of drag them however my little heart desires, I guess. This full one really scares me. I might have to cheat. might have to cheat a little bit, which I'm going to do. I'm going to flip it on my lowly veffy thing here and just get my hand in the paint and do that. And I just made a mess. <laughs> well, I guess that technique is more if you don't have, um, <laughs> uh, oh, if you don't have a base color down. I guess that works better but hey <laughs> that's much better than what it would have turned out if I would have flipped it by myself because that was the full one so I'm going to because I want to I don't know what I want to do so I am just going to Flip that one there, and flip that one there. Oh, that was not a good one. Okay, 
Let me take these tapes off. They're gonna start moving around. Lots of page. Okay. All right. So now they're already, they're dragging themselves around. So I think I might as well just get her going. I have not done a flip and drag before. Ooh. So we'll see what happens. I think I definitely have enough paint. So my worry about having negative space is a concern. Okay, well, here we go. There's that. Let me get this a torch. Lots and lots of bubbles. Okay. Let's see what we can do. Are you ready? I don't know if I am. I hope you are. <laughs> okay. And I'll speed this part up a little bit for you. Um, kind of boring, really, right? are all still with me you are perfect okay I think I'm going to see there we go look at that Very 
looks like some colour, doesn't it? felt like I had to get rid of that um, big gray splotch that was really bothering me. Sorry, this could be out of frame for a minute. I'm trying to tilt. Tilt it a little bit. Do, 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 do. What am I doing here? Apparently, I think that if you shake the living daylights out of the canvas, the paint will move better. That's cool. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, okay. okay. All right. Well, here it is, guys. What do you think? So it didn't turn out as I envisioned. I actually probably could have done two of these cups instead of three. Um, but hey, you know, that's how you learn. You might just have to do another one. Just because. I did make sure it was level before I started. Um, so everything was level. So hopefully it won't move too much. Um, take a popsicle stick, or I'm just going to use my palette knife here, and I'm running along the bottom of the canvas edge to get rid of those drips, because there's a lot of paint. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a lot of paint that comes off. And if you keep that scraped, you'll be able to prevent it moving your composition a whole lot. I mean, it's still gonna move, but this will help it. So you don't completely lose like this here. I'm loving and I'm hoping it just freezes. <laughs> I know I'll lose a little bit of it, but that's, that's okay. So yeah, just go along the bottom. Scrape away and then check it in another 15 20 minutes. Scrape it again. I would check it one more time, see if there's any. If there is, scrape it. If there's not, then you should be good to go on doing that. So, anyways, I hope you liked my video. And again, go down in my description box below and there will be links to um, the others that are part of this collaboration that Rose M Creations um, initiated and put together. So go out and check everybody out, watch their videos, and subscribe to their channels too, you know? Um, we all do appreciate it. Um, so anyways, I appreciate you and I thank you for joining me. Um, if you would love... Um, if you'd love or if you would like to hang out with me again I would appreciate for you to subscribe to my channel um, hit that like button and notification bell and you'll be notified when I post my next video so until the next time my friends thank you bye okay guys here is a close-up with my studio light off and my flash on my phone um, this is the one side here that looks pretty cool with that webbing or um, with that white coming through that black. It's pretty cool. There's lots of shimmer in here. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. So pretty. So even though I didn't get the negative space that I wanted, I do like it. it looks pretty neat. What do you think? Leave me a comment below and let me know how, what you think and how it turned out.
this is my favorite part here, this corner. 